I like going to work. Uh, I was a full-time teacher for many years, starting back in the 70s. I am a primary trained teacher and I've been teaching for about two and a half years now. So I've been a teacher for about 10 years. Um, I got into teaching because I was really passionate about looking after the well-being of young people. I really appreciate the schools I work in because I feel that I'm wanted and needed there. In fact, I'm told that. Thank you all very much for agreeing to do this um, with me today. I've been contacted by literally hundreds of casual school teachers from around Australia who've been really affected uh, by this COVID-19 crisis. Some have gone from one or two days a week to no work. Others have gone from almost a full-time load. In some cases, years and years of full-time load to no work at all. And in most states and territories, there's um, not much or no financial support for casual teachers. Your stories are pretty representative of the um, hundreds of emails that I've received. So why don't we just start, do you mind just sharing your story? I'm a HSIE teacher, so I work in high schools and I regularly have work in about four high schools within 15 minutes of home. I feel really happy with the arrangement I have working out, usually around four days a week because I couldn't get anything from Centrelink even though I've reached age pension age I'm not eligible and because I'm teaching and earning money I wouldn't be getting an age pension anyway. Um, I made the switch to casual about a little under 18 months ago um, because I wanted a bit more flexibility and last year I was casual pretty well sort of four five days a week for the majority of the time. And then this year um, has been an entirely different situation, as we all know. I Term one does get off a little bit to a slower start and I, I've only worked 10 days. It means that without the support of a couple of relatives who really stepped in and were able to um, give me, you know, a little bit of financial support, um, that I would have been really, really struggling to be able to pay my rent and, and buy food for the last month. So I am a primary trained teacher, but I have been spending the last year now working in SSP schools, so school for, schools for special purposes. Um, so mostly students with intellectual disabilities that I've been helping. And I've been fortunate enough to get, on average, um, four to five days per week. And that has dramatically shifted. I lost all of my work for the rest of the term, just within 20 minutes. And I just remember sitting there crying because I am the sole provider for my family. And that was the income gone. Mm -hmm. And our main priority was, you know, just having enough in our account to be able to buy food because bills were out of the question at that point. So I started a Facebook group um, just called New South Wales Casual Teachers. It was just my friends to start with and it's grown um, and now has over 11,000 members. What, what are they telling you on the Facebook group? That they're all really just really scared. Um, there's a general sense of feeling um, incredibly let down. Um, and we have members that have been teaching for 30 years, members that have been teaching this is their first year. We've got members that have only done one or two days of casual work and the beginning of their career and they're left feeling a little bit like I've got no idea what the future holds. The information that was coming our way when schools first went to please keep your kids home if you can um, was that schools should be hiring casuals but I know from the experience and asking our members is that that wasn't happening. Um, and so there's been a lot of stress and anxiety and around that. You're, you're all talking about um, different, different sort of career stages, but the stress is the same, isn't it? It's the loss of income. It's the loss of engagement with the workplace as well, which is so important to your continuing professional development and your confidence as a teacher. Uh, and it's the uncertainty. I mean, the New South Wales government obviously has now said that you can get a few days of work um, each week. Uh, um, that's reassuring, but it's obviously very different to um, close to a full-time load, which each of you were uh, working before. Labor did 
advocate for JobKeeper payment to be extended to casuals in schools. Um, it, you're an obvious group, I think, that should be covered. We moved amendments in the parliament to try and get casual teachers covered by JobKeeper. Um, we'll keep campaigning on that. We really want... Um, Josh Frydenberg, the Treasurer, has given himself the power to add affected groups to the JobKeeper payment. So I think, um, you know, it's obvious that uh, teachers should be included in that. We'll keep advocating for teachers to be included. Well, I'm just worried that the schools aren't going to have me back as often as I used to be, where I was feeling valued and uh, making a contribution to the, the running of uh, the schools I work in. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really worried about the increase in educational disparity that we'll see. That There's a whole lot of kids who just need to be at school as soon as it's safe for them to be at school um, for, their, for their own education and also for all of the other benefits that school brings. Mm -hmm. I have experience working in behaviour schools as well and I can see, I have seen firsthand how much of a difference actually going to school does make for those kids' wellbeing. We are trying to get the message out to, to those kids in particular that um, school is open for, for kids who, who are uh, at risk, but it's so hard to, to get that message out nationally. Well, look, thank you all so much for joining me on the, the Zoom meeting today. It's been really great to hear from you. Uh, I know it's a tough time for casual teachers right around the country and having you share your stories is really valuable for me uh, and I hope um, I'll be able to share this with others so that they understand the challenges that you're facing too.